Welcome back to Train Heads. I'm Ree, and today I'm joined by TT. What's up, guys? I'm TT, and you might know me from ASOS's Sneakers in 60 Seconds. And today we'll be reviewing the UNC to Shire Jordan 1 Hunts. So these are one of the Jordan 1's specially for women silhouettes. The UNC to Shy name is very specific to Michael Jordan as well. UNC being the University of North Carolina, his college with the blue colorway and the Chicago Bulls bred with the red colorway. So it's a mix of the both. They're in limited sizes as well. So they only got up to a size nine, which was perfect for us. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it, it gave us a little bit, it was a less heat yeah. on, the, on the websites, you yeah. know, finally. <laughs> and it's not a very girly colorway yeah, as well. Yeah, I like which that. Was, which was cool. I feel like most women's colorways, they like, they make it super girly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are like mids as well. Like I feel like the women's exclusives, it's always mids and like a really like feminine color. All right, moving on to the design. So obviously we've got the black and red toe box here. Um, for the Chicago Bulls and yeah, the University of North Carolina blue. Um, so I really like how it's like these, there's like kind of the primary colors of the black, really nice. Got like the Nike and Jordan branding obviously as well. Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah, the red, the red sole, red sole. black inner, yeah. black lacing. They do come with additional laces that are red. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if I like it just that, I think. Yeah, that's what puts me off actually from yeah. of the shoe is like the black. There's so much of it. Yeah. Um, and I don't tend to wear like black sneakers that much, so it's like yeah. But I do like how it makes the color stand out. Yeah. The like the blue one, does pop and the red does pop. Yeah. Red here. Um, what laces would you? What color laces do you recommend we get out of it? I actually think a white lace. Same. I was make it say like that. look like an actual like nicer shoe. And the midsole. Yeah. Would, yeah. Yeah. It would bring it out yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. So I do have a couple Jordan ones. Mm. So they are generally comfortable. I do advise getting a half a size up just to avoid creasing, or you can get a Sneak Defender UK crease defender, which will avoid creasing. Mm. It's, I, I'm, I just wouldn't wear them all the time because mm. I just want them to stay yeah, fresh. Yeah, that's the thing with, with Jordans, you literally don't want to wear them. Yeah. You just want them to like, yeah. The it's premium, a special occasions yeah. only shoe. Exactly, yeah. and the premium leather is just bossy, yeah. so. Yeah, it's got nice gloss, like nice sheen to it. Yeah. Alright, so moving on to price. Um, these originally retailed for £135. Um, and right now they're kind of reselling for like one, 190. Yeah, 190. Average. And what we saw is like the men's si the men's sizes are actually like more expensive, which is probably to do with like the colorway being like more of like unisex. the unisex yeah. kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, I feel like you can still get these for really reasonable. Really I know, and after a month of them being out, because yeah. it was a Valentine's drop, yeah. you can still get them and then not really pass the 200 mark. Yeah. I'm a bit Which disappointed. Kind of shows, yeah, mm. kind of shows that like people weren't as excited about these. Yeah. Um, well, the ladies yeah. were. Yeah. yeah. So what do you reckon? Out of five? I think out of five, I'm giving this a four. Um, and that's because as a Jordan one, it's ultimately, it's always going to be a premium shoe. Mm -hmm. um, and I also just love that Nike gave us, like women, like a really nice unisex colorway and they're starting to do that a lot more now. Um, the only reason I shaved off one mark is because I feel like I couldn't wear it with that much. It's like a very like dark unique shoe. and dark yeah. shoe and it doesn't like, it's not like a versatile shoe that you could wear with a lot of stuff. But that's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I definitely give it a four out of five, but my reasoning is because I wear a lot of black, so it's a bit easier for me to drop it. But it's coming out in February, the end of winter. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wait till winter again, pretty much, to kind of wear it. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, sure. And I want more lace options. I want a white one, a red one, yes. and then we could kind of freshen it up a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah. So four out of five. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and thank you guys for having me on Trainer Heads. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Um, you can follow me at TT Finley on Instagram, and you can probably see me very soon on ASOS Sneakers and Sixty. Make sure you comment below what trainers you want us to review next. Follow us on the socials, and that's Trainer Heads with a Z. It's been love and light, guys. It's Re and T! Woo!